Hello, everyone, and welcome to Learn Xiangqi, your enthusiastic response to our game analysis of the 2023 National Xiangqi Championship final game has been incredible. Many of you have expressed a keen interest in watching more game analysis videos, and we have listened. In today's video, we are delving into the past about 50 years ago to break down a truly fascinating match. So, without further ado, Let's dive right in. The game was played in 1974. Xu Naiji was playing as the red player and was a skilled Xiangqi national master. On the opposite side, Yang Guangning, a respected national grandmaster and China's first national Xiangqi champion, played as the black player. Yang Guangning was famous for his amazing endgame skills, often turning even-looking endgames into wins earning him the nickname Magician for his ability to achieve the unexpected. The game began with Red making a central cannon move. Black brought out a horse. Red did the same with his horse. Black moved the chariot out, and so did Red. Black then pushed a soldier, which limited Red's choices. Another option for Black could have been moving out another horse, which would have led Red to decide which soldier to advance. Black planned to move the cannon up to obstruct the red chariot. In response, red advanced the chariot to the soldier rank, attempting to put pressure on the black horse. Black developed his horse. Red pushed the soldier, getting ready to develop the left horse. In this position, black opted for the commonly used edge cannon exchange chariot over variation. Red moved his chariot here as intended, Black then moved the edge cannon back one step, planning to move it to the elbow file to force the red chariot away. Red brought out the horse. Black moved up the advisor to reinforce the central defense. At this point, Red had two options. One was to advance the horse to the riverbank for better control of the center. The other choice was to move the cannon aside, making room for the chariot. In this game, Red went with the latter option. Black developed his chariot, and Red followed suit. Black relieved pressure on the horse by shifting the cannon here. The Red chariot escaped. Black moved the horse to the riverbank, setting up a potential counter-attack on Red's elbow file. In this position, Red has various options. For instance, Red could move the other chariots to the soldier rank, adding pressure on Black's right side. Advance the chariot to disrupt Black's setup. Gain a small material advantage by capturing either the edge soldier or the central soldier. In this game, Red took the central soldier. Black captured the cannon, and Red recaptured it using the chariot. Currently, Red has an extra central soldier, the black cannon and chariot pinned by the red chariot. Black has more active pieces and potential counter-attacks on the elbow file. Overall, the position is even for both players. At this point, there is a highly aggressive option for black, which is to sacrifice the soldier. Red captures the soldier, and in response, Black sacrifices the horse by moving here. With Red capturing the horse, Black could then use the cannon to take the Red Elephant. Red move up the advisor, and Black further advances the cannon to the fruit rank, restricting the Red Chariot's movement. And in the upcoming move, Black plans to shift this chariot to the bottom rank for a strong attack. While intriguing, this variation has been extensively examined, leading to the consensus that handling the ensuing situation becomes challenging for Black. As a result, this approach has become less frequent in professional matches. Instead, Black chose to capture the soldier with the cannon, putting pressure on the elephant. Red connected the elephants in the center. Black moved the cannon to the throat rack restricting the red chariot's movement. Historically, this move was well received. However, 
modern Shanxi theory proposes that black should move the soldier instead. This opens up a path for the black horse, enabling a potential double attack. This approach is more potent than restraining the red chariot and is the recommended strategy. Red advanced the horse to participate in the attack. Black moved the chariot forward, hoping to capture the unprotected match cannon later. Red wasn't worried about this move. If Black takes the cannon, his own cannon will be in danger. So Red took a soldier, threatening to take the Black Elephant. Normally, players would keep the elephant in the center to maintain structural integrity, but Black moved it to the side, which might seem strange. This decision was influenced by the potential threat from the Red Horse. Keeping the elephant in the center would block the black chariot's movement to the right for defense, especially without other black pieces to assist on that side. Red moved the horse. Black lifted his chariot. Red continued by advancing the horse, threatening to attack the black general with the elbow horse. Black obstructed the horse's path with the chariot. Red employed the cannon to capture a soldier. Black recognized that continued passive defense wouldn't improve his position, so he pushed the soldier to create space for the horse. Red withdrew the cannon to target the soldier. As anticipated, Black moved the horse forward to challenge the red horse. At this juncture, Red had the option to simply exchange the cannon for the black horse. However, Red sensed a potential advantage and a chance to defeat Yang in this game. Hence, he chose not to go for the trade, opting instead to advance this soldier. Why would Red sacrifice his horse? This move was aimed at clearing a path for the Red Cannon. If Black takes the horse, Red would then move the cannon to the Red File to target the Black Chariot. Black would be unable to move the chariot, doing so would expose it to a standard elbow horse attacking strategy. Red can first give a check with the elbow horse. Black moves out the general. Then Red gives a check with the cannon and the chariot. Black can only block with the advisor or with the chariot. And Red can capture it, resulting in a checkmate. To avoid this scenario, Black had to sacrifice the chariot for the horse. With the black cannon and chariot still pinned, it was challenging for Black to break free from this situation. Red enjoyed a significant advantage, and victory for him was just a matter of time. This explains Su's willingness to sacrifice his horse in this critical move. Yang obviously understood Su's plan, but he couldn't find a way to prevent it. So, he decided to take the horse. Su then moved his cannon as planned. Instead of capturing the horse, Yang made a surprising move here, turning this game into one of the greatest games ever played. Can you guess what Black did? Take a quick pause to think, and I will reveal the answer shortly. Yang surprised everyone by moving his cannon to the right. Despite the vulnerable chariot, Black chose to sacrifice another chariot. If Red captures the chariot with the cannon, Black would give a check with the cannon instead of taking the chariot. Red can't block the check with the elephant, as that would lead to a checkmate by capturing the elephant. So, Red had to move the advisor up. Black then checked by moving the horse here. Red had two options. If Red blocked the check with the elephant, Black could move the horse up to give another check. Red couldn't capture the horse with the elephant, as Black could deliver a checkmate with the double cannon. The only option for Red was to use the advisor to block the check. And just like that, Black delivered a checkmate. Returning to this position, we now understand that Red can't block the check with the elephant. What about using the advisor to block the check? Black can move his horse up to this position to give a discovered check. Red can't advance the advisor, or Black can win with the double cannon checkmate. Red is left with the option to move the general up. Black gives another check with the cannon. 
The red general can't retreat, so it must capture the horse. Black gives another check with the cannon, and the red general escapes to the third rank of the palace. Black advances the soldier, preparing for the checkmate. Notice that, due to the pain from the black chariot, the red central elephants can't move to free up the red general. This concludes with a victory for black. As we can see, red can't capture the chariot with the cannon in this position. This leaves Sue with no choice but to capture the other chariot. Black then gave a check with the cannon. The red advisor moved up. The black horse advanced to the edge setting up for a potential double cannon checkmate. Red was unable to move up the advisor, as Black could move the horse here, leading to a horse cannon checkmate. Similarly, Red can't move out the general either, or Black could move the horse here to give a check. The Red general moves up, and then Black gives another check by moving the horse here. Now, Regardless of where the red general goes, black can deliver a checkmate. The only hope for red was to move this chariot to the right to prevent the double cannon threat. To achieve this, red sacrificed the horse to deliver a check. Black captured the horse with the chariot. Red then moved the cannon to the midline for another check. Black moved down the advisor. Red then used the chariot to give another check. Black defended against the check with the advisor. Note that Black couldn't use this advisor to block the check, as Red could win the game with an Iron Bolt checkmate. Red then positioned the chariot here for a discovered check. Black moved the general out creating a threat of delivering a smothered checkmate like this. Red had no option but to move up the advisor to block this chariot. Black moved the horse here to deliver a check. Red blocked the check with the chariot. Black moved the chariot here to attack the red chariot. Xu realizes that the game was over, so he conceded at this point. Why? First, the red chariot couldn't capture the black chariot because it was pinned by the cannon. If red captures the black horse with the elephant, red loses the chariot, giving black a clear advantage. If red captures the black cannon with the chariot, black can deliver a check with the horse. If red moves up the general, black could checkmate by moving the chariot here. If red moves the general out, Black could also win with a horse cannon checkmate. In today's video, we delved into an extraordinary Xiangqi match from 50 years ago. Xu Naiji and Yang Guanlin displayed their impressive skills in a strategic battle. The highlight of the game was Yang's surprising decision to sacrifice both chariots. This counterintuitive move reminds us that in Xiangqi, thinking creatively can lead to remarkable outcomes. Is a vivid example of how the game challenges us to explore unconventional strategies for success. If you find this video helpful, please like this video, comment below, and subscribe to the channel. You could play the game online on xiangqi.com by clicking the link in the video and screen. If you want to play over the board games, you could click the Amazon link in the description to purchase the Chinese chess set offered by xiangqi.com. You could also join our Discord community by clicking the invitation link in the description. Stay tuned. I will see you soon.